So now let's see how we can work around with drop shadow option inside of Pixlr E. So here you can see that I have a background with a white shape on it and then I have an image on top. So I'm going to click on the image on top right here. I'm just going to go around over here and this is what I have. So now I'm going to go around into filter and here you can see drop shadow is an option. Once I click on drop shadow, you can see that immediately there's a shadow that is being generated. I can increase and decrease the opacity of the shadow right here. I can increase and decrease the blur level of the shadow uh, for a more realistic effect. I can change the offset of the shadow as well, just like this, as you can see, and change the offset Y as well. If I want to, I can choose the color just like this, according to what I like. And let's say I'm going to choose green, and there you go, you got a greenish shadow right here. And you can simply press apply, and this is what you have. If I were to go to filter right here and go to drop shadow, then you can see that I can add and double drop, drop shadow just like this. So you got the previous shadow right here. You can increase around the blur and you can see that you can have this kind of an effect as well. And that is how you can work around with the drop shadow effect inside of Pixlr E. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.